check and make sure that I put it on. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Hello, my darling from nation. How are you? How are we? <laughs> my name is Fumite Salovold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you are so very welcome indeed, my darlings. Are we living and loving the fabuloso, darlings? This is by Tiana King of Fashion. Oh, I am absolutely obsessed, absolutely obsessed. And I put in a necklace, which I got from Lanva and some fabulous white earrings just to jazz it up with the white pants. I should get up. What do you think? Are we living and loving? Let me just push this chair to the side so that you can see. I would go grocery shopping like this. I really would. I really would. This is the bag. Oh my God, the fabuloso. The Fabuloso, darlings. The Fabuloso. Thank you, King of Fashion. I absolutely love this. I have been wearing her outfits all week. Thank you, Tiana. I am living and loving. Let us get to the business at hand. Oh, Real Housewives of Lagos finally had their reunion. And it was a reunion, my darlings, with a twist. Fade two, we open up and we have the fabulous Mariam. Mariam, this was the best I have ever seen you. And that hat, swan-like, you looked beautiful, darling. You looked the best that I have seen you ever. You just looked angelic. From there, I think we had Laura coming in. And Laura looked fabulous. She has just had her baby. Congratulations, Laura. And then we had the fabulous Faith. Before we could get any further, we had the beautiful Tiana King of Fashion. And she came on, which I thought was class. Above all else, it was class. Because Tiana has a connection with her fans. She understands that, you know what? I gotta do what I gotta do. Despite the fact that this child was touch and go with her life. She was so sick. I went out to go and see her and I was shocked. Half her size. And she came on despite the fact that her voice is still hoarse. She's still recovering and she spoke her peace and she spoke her truth. And I absolutely appreciated that from her because when push comes to shove if people are not professional you have to be professional and tiana was and i'm saying this not because she gave me some fabulous outfits it's because tiana was actually the first cast member who reached out to me season one that's her she might have her one one or two hey nobody's perfect but when it comes to professionalism when it comes to business tiana has tapped into it and i am watching and i am also learning from her yeah it's, it's not the case with the other three ladies whom were Chioma, Yabo and Netanya. I'm going to start with them in a collective and then separate. Um, guys, why did you not show up? That was not fabulous at all. You have fans. Even if you have background issues, that's not the way to go. All right. Uh, let me start with Iabo. Iabo, I wasn't crazy about you this season, Mama. You're a wonderful, talented actress. And I think that you do so much in the community. I love your daughter, Priscilla. I think you're a wonderful mom. And I'm happy that you have a boyfriend. Now, you had stated that the production wanted you to be much more vicious. If somebody has to be a villain, you could have turned it down. I say that because Faith was there and Faith was herself. And as far as I'm concerned, she was the star of the season. And if she doesn't ever come back, she will be star of every single season going forward. You are the eldest, so you kind of sort of should know better. It didn't go with your aesthetic. It did not go with your brand. I felt that you were very much a bully. And I felt that you were extremely intimidated by Faith. Faith was just, a, Faith is a stallion in every way, shape, and form, and she was unbothered. And those are the ones that really get our attention. For guys, the girl that's unbothered is the one that they will marry because they just can't seem to get her attention. That was Faith. And for whatever reason, you were extremely intimidated by Faith. You also have this knack and calculative of where you have Tanya and Choma underneath your wing. And that's not right because it's all for the wrong reasons because you are stronger in numbers. But you alone, Iabo, you're terribly insecure and you have your own demons that keep you up at night. I don't know what they are, but the way that you behave this season, it was absolutely evident. Don't come back like this next season. Don't do it. It's not a good look. 
you were calculating, you were terribly insecure, and you were behaving very street thuggish. It just wasn't necessary. If somebody intimidates you, learn from them. You see me, my shine is my shine, but I will rub up next to you. I'll be like, girl, teach me, teach me. I live for your fabulosity. You see me, I can be cocky, I can be arrogant, but I'm very humble. And when it comes to learning, I want to learn. I want to soak up everything. I want to learn three, four, five languages because it empowers me all the more. Be my teacher, Faith, because this is fabulous. You could have gone that route. You could not overcome faith. And every time you tried, you just looked like a hot mess. Don't come like that next season. Tanya, don't come back next season at all because you were just follow, follow, and you were a sing-along. You are like a background singer that cannot sing. So why are you here? You gave nothing, nothing at all to uh, the ensemble cast and even individually you did not. That's a shame because you're an author. I wanted you to bring your intelligence. I wanted you to bring something. You brought nothing. I also want you to know that follow, follow, I used to do it. They, these girls have nothing and you bring them power in numbers, but they have nothing. And you think that they are the eight girls. Let me go with them. Let me this, let me that. That's very, very high school. Go your own path, even if it means that you're going to go alone. I promise you, the energy will shift. And when I say the energy, the right energy will shift where you will now begin to evolve. You, because you were a new cast member, you felt that, you know what? You went with Iyabo and Choma. And that was not the way to go. It was not the way to go. You are beautiful. You're a beautiful girl and you could have brought so much and you did not bring anything at all. Choma, you didn't show up. You know, I live and love you. I want you to be careful with the friendship you have with Iyabo because Iyabo has her own reasons. You see, Choma, you are fabulous. You are fabulous and I have just discovered your girlfriend, Kiki. Keki, Kiki, Kika, Kika. I love the name, Kika. I've just discovered your business partner friend, Kika, and I live for Kika. Kika is fabulous. I see why the two of you are friends. Friends. I'll leave it at that. Yes, you can have friendships. Yes, you can do whatever. But I honestly believe that if Iyabo had come for the reunion, you would have been there in your fabulosity, in all of your Valentino drip, drop, drip, drop, in all of your Gucci Chanel. You know, I live for it. You're over the top. So am I. I'll tell you this. I loved the fashion, the style, the glamour, the over-the-top that you brought to season two. And I apologize that production did not have you on a global scale because I lived for it. Especially the last episode with your summer hat and you're sitting at the end of the table. I lived for it. Plus the glasses, OMG. Be careful with friendships. Be careful with friendships, my darling. You're a lovely girl. I live for you. Be careful with friendships and make sure that you are making them also for the right reasons. So let us move on. So we had the three beautiful girls. We had Mariam, we had Laura, and we had Faith. And the reunion was healthy. It was nice because Laura found out that she was being talked about behind her back on the night that she did not come for, I think it was Iyabo's event. Laura wasn't there. Laura, let me address this here now. I appreciate you. I appreciate you because you brought a point and said nobody liked you last season. You were absolutely correct. And why I like you because blood is thicker than water. It was not you. There were grievances about a family member. It's not important to bring that up now. The point was you stood 10 tones deep for your family member. I respect that and you took the heat. I respect that and you did not bow down to nobody. I respect that and you ate all of that throughout the season. I respect that. Your family members should be very proud of you. Blood is thicker than water. She should buy you 10 Chanel bags for that alone. And so this season, you were like, I'm going to keep my distance. You are very intelligent. I live for it. I'm not there that we can't talk. Avoidance is key. I have learned that from you, this 53-year-old woman, to, you know what? 
avoid, keep a distance for me so that it doesn't get out of hand. And that was what you did, of which faith ended up getting the heat from. Faith, I love you. You should be studied in universities, master classes I will attend. And might I say I'm very proud of myself because I have mastered the sense of calm. When I tell you I can sit here and you can say anything to me now, it does not bother me. I learned that from you. You are flawlessly fabulous. And I love the fact of how wonderful you are a mother to a son like I and how your son and Tiana's son get along. That again was fabuloso. I want to bring Tiana up here. Tiana is king. She actually is. You see, there are certain women where we are not exactly Exactly masculine but we have that king energy where we are okay to eat alone because we know what we bring to the table we are not intimidated by other women on the contrary we admire them that's Tiana Tiana and Faith got along because they've got king energy like me I ride solo I don't care I really don't. I don't have too many friends. I say what I mean, mean what I say, and I'm not intimidated to lose anybody because it's either you're a disciple or you're not. Ask for nation. They're fabulous. And a lot of them have king energy, meaning that I will stand up. And I love the way that Tiana stood up for faith at that event. She said, well, you know what? What are we all talking, sis? What are we all... Because she already knew that Iyabo, you're talking a lot of nonsense and you're only talking like this because faith is not bowing down to you like tanya who has to who is there with mouse energy faith and tiana have king energy i live for it because we identify tribe on tribe we know our tribesmen I, let me say that because tiana i can check tiana say tiana you know what you are wrong here tiana will say auntie how are you she'll still call me she would still say, Auntie Fumi, how are you? King energy. When she was sick, I went to see her. That's king because you are able to take it on all floors. Mariam, the same thing with you. Don't make follow, follow. Don't. I know that you think that you need these people in your life. You don't. You really don't. And I could see that you were hurt when Faith called you a couple of names. You really were hurt by that. And I see that you are fragile. Do you know, Mariam, that you can actually, put, that I think you have the grains of king energy. You just haven't sprout watered it yet. Once you do, you see how people are, what they're for, and you can walk. You're going through a fertility journey of which I went. I wish you the best. You need to ride on your own and for those that love you right about now. Because you see this IVF, because you see this fertility journey, it ain't for the weak. It ain't for the weak. Get your priorities right and find a friend in faith. Because that nonsense that you did in front of them, Yabo at Yabo's event, it was only to really impress them, Yabo and Co. And they weren't impressed. Because when push comes to shove and you had the quarrel and the fight in Ife, of which I went to the University of Ife and I went to Moremi High School in Ife. Yes, baby, we've been around. We used to live in Elisha and my mother and father used to drive us to Moremi High School, Ife, every single morning and we were never late. That's king energy when I tell you. Needless to say, I digress. The quarrel you had with Tanya. I did not like it and I said Tanya was wrong and I stood up for you because I don't like people ganging up on one. I don't think you're outnumbered. You did that with faith. You kept on goading her. Where's your friend? Where's your friend? It's none of your business. Be quiet. And that's not how to talk to anybody. Then you jump around in front of her and you expect that you're not going to get anything back. You see faith, like I told you, she's calm, but that does not mean that she's quiet and she gave it to you and she hit the nail on the head where you've been carrying this pain and you brought it all the way to the reunion. Don't do that, Mariam, because as far as I'm concerned, you're a beautiful girl. You're a beautiful, beautiful girl. And do you know, I think that you're a sweet person, but you get intimidated and you do things to please others and nobody cares. Because when you had that quarrel with Tiana, Iyabo did not even come in to defend you. That's somebody you're trying to impress. Do you see what I mean? We had Dr. Romy. Dr. Romy showed up and he looked fabulous in yellow and gold. He looked fabulous. I lived for Dr. Romy this season because of his clown energy. 
and it was unfortunate. You had everything, Dr. Gome. In fact, you still have everything as far as I am concerned. You had the style, you had the fashion. I would have even said, guys, go ahead and make him one of the housewives. Nobody has made a guy a housewife. Why don't you make him a housewife? You came out from Atlanta. You came out uh, only knowing our faith. And you thought, you know what? Let us come and hit ground and come and get into all of the society. What you failed to realize was that faith, King Energy, one woman, one woman show, she was Lagos, even though she didn't live there. It was faith that brought it and faith that all that you needed. I think halfway through, you now realize that was the case, that, that was the case, but faith did not want anything to do with you. You ran in there like jumping into the deep end without knowing how to swim or having your floaters and you sank to the bottom because you became a clown, you became somebody to laugh at and that for sure, your guests, your front row entertainers were Choma and Yabo. That was why they invited you to come out to the swimming pool of which you were late. They didn't care about you. They just wanted to laugh. You had it all. You're a doctor. And that's unfortunate because medicine and the medical field and that profession is taken seriously. Where is all the time that you have? What kind of a doctor are you? And to be lying through your face, I think you thought, let me go the opposite direction and be a clown and I will get all of these followers and I will really rise to the top. The same advice that I'm giving a yabo. It was not a good look. As tiny as you are, five foot or maybe four foot 11, you could have stood up six foot 10 up in there if you had come correct. Instead, you didn't and you were still lying through your teeth that you misspoke. And I lived for Laura. Laura said, be quiet. Don't say you misspoke. Say that you told lies. It was a hard smoking mess. And you had no, I wish you had come and said, I had ap I have apologized. Everybody, plus all the animals, the goats, everybody, knew that you were telling lies, knew that you misspoke everything because faith didn't have to lie. She had no reason to lie. And you were speaking fast. And she said, let, let him speak, let him speak. And what you did not know was that you continued to look like a buffoon. And I wanted you to be great. That's what I'm trying to say. I wanted you to be great and you were not. Um, that's all I have to say. I know a lot of you say for me, you should be the moderator for Real Housewives of Lagos. If they come to London, if they come to London, I can do it because I can get all of these girls wrapped up. One, two, three, four. But the moderator there, she did a good job. And I lived for the outfit that you were wearing. You looked hot. I love the hair. I love the fact that we also saw you go from one uh, room to the other to say hello to all of the girls. That's all I have to say about the Real Housewives of um, Lagos come next season come correct bring dr rome back if he promises not to have diarrhea of the mouth and he promises to do one or two things then we can bring him back i'm also proud to say that i am going to have my first podcast guest and that's going to be tiana you guys want to watch it because it was fabulous okay don't forget to like to subscribe to hit the notification button my darlings and i will see you what i'll see you sooner than later all of my life Ha, 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 ha.